Bus riders repeatedly tweeted their frustration. Academy bus a no-show again. Call up whoever runs Academy bus service and ask why three buses didn't show. Turns out the riders were on to something. New Jersey's Attorney General recently charged Academy with defrauding NJ Transit out of $15 million for bus routes it allegedly ignored since at least 2012 until a whistleblower set off warning flares. To have buses that don't show up um, is, is something that's just not acceptable. Tri-State Transportation's Janet Chernitz complains that NJ Transit's board wasn't briefed on Academy's no-show problems before it unwittingly approved a new contract with the company, a contract Governor Murphy promptly canceled. She agrees. And that's definitely the right move and the right start, but we need to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. This item should not have been presented to the board to start with. Um, and certainly the board needed to have the full information in order to, to vote properly. The attitude tends to be when you question them is circle the wagons. You know, there's this lack of transparency. Advocate Len Resto says NJ Transit badly needs a total overhaul. He started a change.org petition to fire the agency's executive director, Kevin Corbett, plus remove its board chair, Diane gutierrez Cachetti, who's also Jersey's transportation commissioner. What you need there are professional transit people to run that organization as opposed to political appointments. So instead of circling the, the wagons, they should be taking these problems that are brought to them seriously. Senator Loretta Weinberg's co-sponsoring a bipartisan bill to shake up NJ Transit. It says board members, not the governor, should hire the executive director, a separate customer advocate, and an auditor general, and also elect the board's chair. It requires the agency to report all financial audit documents in a centralized database, and it establishes strong legislative oversight. I would like to make sure that there is an auditor who reports directly to the board. And again, so that these kinds of issues around Academy bus are done in public. We are um, uncovering things. Uh, in the case of this Academy bus issue, uh, unfortunately, uh, it was uncovered by an outsider. There was information within the organization that should have been shared with, with the board. And personally, I'm, I'm upset about that. Recently appointed NJ Transit board member Bob Gordon backs Weinberg's bill, but does see a conflict with a transit board director who's also New Jersey's transportation commissioner. Department of Transportation is in the, the business uh, of, of building roads. And, uh, you know, that conflicts with uh, resources allocated to mass transit. But the governor called Gutierrez Cachetti a star. She is exactly where she needs to be, and I am thankful every single day for her service to our state. Academy says it'll file court papers that detail its good faith efforts to perform the service in issue and to properly tally and submit missed trip information to New Jersey Transit. A transit spokesman says it's keeping closer tabs with automated exception reports that are produced for scheduled trips that didn't operate using the GPS technology installed on our buses. We augment that with staff reports. NJ Transit's board meets Wednesday. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.